Do you see it on your thing? Because that's a delay on four, three. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're live now. We are live. Yeah, we're live. Wow. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to What's Next. We are your pastors, Pastor Lakia, Pastor Terrell. You can call us Terrell, call us Lakia. We are happy to uh, join, be here tonight. Um, we're excited for what the Lord is doing, something new, something fresh in our ministry. And um, we pray that you guys will join us. Come on in, join us. We're here just to share with you uh, what the Lord is doing in our ministry, uh, what we're preparing for, for the uh, upcoming year, for the rest of this year. Amen. And we're just excited. We're excited to be counting amongst those that God will choose for this assignment, for this journey. Um, so once again, my name is Terrell. I, I serve as the assistant pastor of the Glorified Deliverance Ministries. And um, just a little bit about myself. I've been a part of this church for all of my life. Um, excuse me, uh, my son is with us tonight. Um, I'm born in this church, born in Glorified Deliverance Outreach Ministries, and it has been an uh, uphill journey. What can I say? It's been a lot, you know, especially when you know family churches, you go through a lot, you see a lot, you experience a lot. Uh, but I can honestly say that all that I, I went through, that I've been through, I've never changed churches. I've never changed leaders. Um, I've been in the same place, been in the same church all my life. And so I count it an honor and a privilege that uh, my Bishop Desnit uh, would think enough of me that God will, you know, will use her to uh, anoint me to serve in this capacity. And so I'm grateful to God, grateful to God. Pastor Lakia. Okay. So um, my name is uh, Lakia Ray. I married into the uh, Ray family. Yes. <laughs> Well, I um, came, I'm 44 years old. I am a mother of two children. I have a son who's 25 and a daughter who's 24. So I'm no longer at the stage where I was in. I by bypassed that many, many years ago. Many years um, ago. I came into Glorified um, Deliverance Outreach Ministries when I was 17 going on 18, because I got married at 18 and I'm married into um, the family, um, like I previously stated. But I came in at 17 years old and I was there the majority of my adulthood life. I actually got ordained and glorified as an elder. Um, and that was about 10 years ago. Yeah. And um, I served in um, over the youth. I served as an elder. I served as an evangelist. We did a lot of things within the ministry. Yeah. And um, I was asked uh, maybe a few months ago um, to take on this, the role and the responsibility and the honor of being pastor at Glorified Deliverance. Now, just to know a bit, a little bit about Glorified, it is a um, ministry that was uh, started, what, yes. Jerome, maybe 40, 40, 50 no, years ago? About, I'm almost 50, 55 years. 55 years ago. Yeah. So Terrell's grandmother started it um, yeah. back almost 55 years ago. And um, then it went to um, Bishop Desenic, which is her daughter-in-law. And yes. now it's going to the daughter-in-law and a grandson. Yes. So um, we are excited about what's to come. Why? Because God has given us a mandate and he's yes. given us an assignment and we are leaning and we're depending and we're trusting in God. And what our, um, theme, what our slogan, our tag is gonna be, come and see. We want you to come and see, and this yes. is a place where you matter. Because a lot of people have to try to explain um, what service is about, what their ministry is about. But all we're going to do is tell you to come and see. We want you to see mm -hmm. what God is doing because we're yielded. We're young. We're yielded to the voice of God and we're yielded to the plan of God for not just church. I'm going to put up a, a, I got a clip, Terrell. I got a clip, but I'm going to show people who we're called all to. Right. As if yes. this we are, we are a group of young people who are, who are radical, who are sold out, and yes. who want to see change. We're tired of church as usual. We're tired of the mundane services and doing stuff just out of religion and just doing it because you know how to do it. We're ready to, um, as I would say, turn this world upside down. Yes. And these are young, these are adults now who I've seen grow up in the ministry. Yeah. They grow 
all now have families and yeah. it's a beautiful thing. And we are at a prime time within the world, within our culture, and even Absolutely. within um, the kingdom of God. We are super excited to lead you. And we're not here to lead. We're going to be servant leaders. Absolutely. We're here to serve. Absolutely. We're here to serve the body of Christ. We're here to serve our community. And we're here to make a difference. Yes. And that's what we're going to do. We're going, I'm telling y'all, we're going to make a difference. And we're making a difference with every, we're doing this together. This is going to be a corporate, a, a, a thing, a thing of unity, a thing of togetherness, oneness, where we're going to come together and we're going to turn the world upside down. Absolutely. Not, we are, we are them. Yes, we, we are. are. That's right. We are them and we're about to turn this world upside down. Changing a generation, empowering the people to know that God is still in the saving business. He's still delivering. He's still empowering. <laughs> he's still encouraging. You know, we are an encouraging church. We're a loving church. Um, as, as Pastor Lakia said it before, we served for years. I know I have. I served for years. Uh, I started off uh, as watching uh, my cousin, my older cousin, doing praise and worship. Well, devotional back then, you know, and I moved up through praise and worship. And then I became a minister. Mm -hmm. After a minister, I became an elder um, some years ago. And then after an elder recently, just last year, I became the youth pastor of the church. And then as, as Pastor Lakia stated, I was called and said, it's your time. It's time now, you know, to take this mantle on. And so I, you know, I'm ready to serve the people uh, as I've been doing for all of these years. And, you know, I have a testimony that I would don't mind sharing with the people knowing that I didn't always do everything right. I didn't cross every T. I didn't dot every I. I had issues. I was the one that, that went up against my pastor. I was the one that rebelled. I was the one. I'm going to be honest. People ain't going to be honest, but we are an honest church. And those who know me know that I don't mind being honest in the place of vulnerability because I want people to understand that we are, are, are people who are striving to be perfect. We'll never be perfect, but we're striving to get to a place where God is pleased with yeah. all that we do, what we say, how we are, how we act. That's all important. And so, you know, I have a testimony to share with the people that God is still working on me. He's working on us, all right? We have not arrived because we, we are pastors now. No, we have not arrived. This still is a process that we're going through. And I'm telling you that God is giving us that anointing to help those who want to go through that process to see that there is great potential in you, in all of us. You matter. Come and see. There's a word for you. There, there, there's a service that we're, 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 we're looking to render to God that we can bless the people, not just in the four walls, but outside the four walls. There's more. There's more to just having church inside the building. There's more to do. There's more. There's a word that has to be preached, has to be sung to reach the people to know that Jesus Christ is still Lord and he's still saved. Yeah. And so we're excited to, uh, to let you guys know that there's a movement. Yeah. There's a movement getting ready to happen. Come and see. Come and see something you have never experienced before. The power of God is going to hit your life. It's going to change your life. Why? Because it changed us. Yeah. And prayer and impartation. It changed. It changed. So I'm excited. Go ahead. Wait. Okay. So let's, we're going to let people in and get to know us. Okay. So me and Terrell, yes. we, I don't know if you remember, we used to do banquets. Yes. We were the we were MCs. We were all we the did time. Stella Awards before they were Stella Awards. Okay, <laughs> with outfit change. Come on, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. We had Absolutely. Our, our attire. We had to match. We had match yes. the outfit sometimes yes. because we did we did the and we we did it. We, we did sure and it's did. something. When I saw a picture, Danae posted a picture, and I'm like, "Yo, that is crazy! How yeah. you can look at that and see that? Look how many years ago that was, and look where mm -hmm. we are today. Look where we are like, today. We come back because I moved." out of um new york 10 years ago and i moved to illinois on the word for god and been processed there and went through a lot of training there um i'm actually um submitted and i was submitted under my spiritual father apostle benny doja who uh you know got a hold of me was like you know what you're a little aggressive maybe mm -hmm. you need to let's let's chop it around them edges because i'm from new york so yeah. you know a lot of you know i'm a lot you know i'm a Go get her, and it's just mm -hmm. this who I am. And I have to get it sharpened around, you know, love people more, be more compassionate, be more gentle. Right. And I learned that in that process. So now being refined, coming back, 
there's a little bit, there's a little bit softness to me, but I still don't play. So there's right. a little bit of, you know, but I still don't. So I just wanted to um, put that out that we started together. Yes. We we went, I went away, grew, and then we're coming back together. Yes. And we're not coming back together just for um, the normal. We're not coming right. together just, just to say that we had a good time and we came to church and we had a good time mm-hmm. in church. That's not why we're coming together. We're right. coming together because the Bible declares that we are supposed to be changed and transformed when we come together. When right. we come together and unify as a body, we are empowered to go yeah. out and we are empowered to make a difference. So that's yeah. what that's what we're doing. We're coming together. Like um, Pastor Terrell said, we're coming together. We're going to be equipped. You're going to be empowered. You're going to have the tools that you need necessary to go out into the world. Like he said, we're going outside of the four walls. We're going to let our community know that we are here and we are here to serve. We are here. We are fishermen of we are fishermen of men. We are going out to fish for men. And I I want people to know today, we don't want your fish. Mm -hmm. We don't want what we don't want. We don't want fish to jump from one bowl to another. We want right. those that are out in the ocean. We want those Absolutely. that are out. And also, if you're tired of church, if you are sick of church, and I'm gonna play this video. I, I gotta play. I gotta. You know. You know about to play. Yes. <laughs> oh, pull up my phone, and I want y'all to know this is okay. This is who we're called to. Also. Okay. If you feel like this. In any capacity, <laughs> if that's you, you you feel that you are tired of this church, right? You're tired of this church, meaning the way that church is today, and how it's all about personality. It's personality yeah. driven. It's all about knowing who this is, knowing who that is. If you're tired of that, then you need to come and see. Come and see. We call to you. We need come to, and see. We need you to come and see. Come and see. Like the boys say, I'm tired of this church. Yeah, listen, I think we've all been, been in that place to where, you know, we've all experienced church hurt. I think we've all been there and know, you know, and then what, what's the sense? You, and I've learned this. It's not always the church that you have to blame when it's church hurt. Sometimes you have to come to grips with yourself and know that you yourself and some things you got to change within yourself. Yeah. You know, because no church is perfect. Every church has its flaws. Every church, you know, has its issues. But we got to stop blaming the church. Sometimes you got to look at yourself and say, what's wrong with me? Yeah. We're made what's wrong with me? imperfect people. When you came to the church, you made it imperfect because you're imperfect. There you go. That's it. You know, we're not. Nobody's perfect. We're not. Nobody. And I don't ever want people to think that. That right. everybody has it all together because you look very well and very polished. That's that's not the case at all. Mm-mm. The case is, like he said, we are a work in progress. Yes. And the thing about being a work in progress, we're yielded to the progress. Yes. Yes. We're not resisting it and we're not fighting it. Sure. We are yielded and submitted to what God wants to do. Right. Like when um, Abraham took his son up, his son was willing and laid down. With, and he knew that, hey, there's supposed to be a sacrifice here. Right. There's no sacrifice. And he putting them down. He pulling out a, a, a <laughs> knife. He know, like, hold it. That's right. how we are. Yeah. God is leading us. We're submitted to the point where whatever you got to do, you do it because we're Just yielding to what he wants to do. Because at the end of the day, we want God to be glorified. In Absolutely. Everything. That's the name of the church. Glorified. Yes. That's what yes. we're saying. We want God to be glorified. glorified. Not We want him to be glorified in our lives mm-hmm. and our marriages and our family. And it's, it's, I love the fact that glorified is a family church, meaning that yeah. we have married couples. Yes. That who've been married. How long have you been married, Terrell? This year, 11 years. 11 years. And Danae have been married, what, 15? 15. 15. 15. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. We got yeah. people, and then JR just got married. I think it was two yeah. years. Neil and Courtney married. So it's all the young couples are literally married. No, not even that, though. Let's go even a little higher. Oh, Bishop. Our Bishop Desmond <laughs> and Bishop Pastor, 50, 55 years. Yeah. So we had great examples before that's us uh, it's a long time longevity marriage you know and and it won't, i want to keep putting this out there because people think oh when they see you the glitz and the glamour listen you can dress up all you want and i love to get dressed for church okay we call it high church i love getting dressed up for church but at the end of the day if i have issues within my marriage at home there's no way i can run a church my my ministry starts at home first of Amen. course it's god then it's family 
That's the order. And so I got to make sure that my life is in right standing with my marriage before I can lead anybody. But we've had great examples. Bishop Desmond, first of all, we want to honor them. Okay. Yes. Want to honor them, Bishop yes. Desmond? She's not on Facebook. Yes. She's going to be on there eventually. She's right. She's going to get on. She's going to get on. Yeah. You know, let's talk about that for a second. You know, these season saints who don't, who not Facebook savvy and Instagram savvy, we got to pray for them. But they're going to get there soon. Yeah, she's going to get there soon. There. But I'm yeah. telling you, Bishop Desmond and, and Pastor Pastor Ray have been great examples for us. Um, you know, being married for over 55 years together together of course they had their ups and downs but love conquered it all Cindy, when it comes to church even though we mess up and we fall uh, 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 aside sometimes we serve a god that never will leave us nor forsake us but he promised in the beginning i will always be there until the very end so we have a god that loves us unconditionally even when, when, when we don't love him when we're not faithful to him he still loves us and so he has set great examples before us when it comes to marriage and things of that nature. And, and we're appreciative that we had great examples before us that taught us that it's a good thing to be married. It's a good thing to be married. Both of you be married and both of you be saved. It works out well. Now, don't get me wrong. There are marriages out there that we have in our church where well, one is married and one is the saved, one is not saved. Doesn't mean that the God is not in the midst of them. Yeah. God is still blessing. God is still do, working great things out in that marriage couple. So we're just saying that we are a family church that God has blessed, that God has, has empowered. You know, once again, I go back to prayer. I go back to fellowship. Cause that's what we're about, fellowship with one, one another. We just don't do church. Yes. We fellowship outside. Yes. yes, we bowl, we go out to eat. You know, we even do karaoke. Y'all don't want none of me though, karaoke. It's Pastor Lakia, that's not your ministry. God bless you. Yes, you know, but we, we, listen, listen, I've been aware. I can sing now. You can, I, <laughs> I, I can hold the tune. Oh Lord I'm Jesus. Telling. I remember that. I remember that Sunday when you when you had to <laughs> preach and, and the Lord, the Lord, I don't know if the Lord told you or who told you, but told you to sing a song before you sung you. I need I was and like, I whoa. You, and I passed you the mic, but no, oh, you I sure didn't like that no more. I can Praise actually hold a, I can I can actually hold a tune. Well, we're gonna give all the credit to Sister Trev. To the I can hold oh, you I can, can hold the note. You can hold the note. I can hold a note. I can get, hold get, a note. get a people something. Get a people something. Go ahead. I can't do it right now. You can. It has to be under the anointing. Oh, okay. So the anointing makes the difference. I have to be under the anointing. I got you. I I'm got telling you. you. I'm the oil you come. I, got you. I am telling I'm, you the oil you is, 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 is it the oil from, from heaven or is it cooking oil? Is that heaven or is that oil from heaven? Okay. Is that all right? All right. Is that all? All from the fields of Goshen. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it, it, go it, ahead. It, 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 yeah, all right. <laughs> we, we're going to experience that out yes. of service. Yes. But we want y'all to know that we um have two in-person services. Yes. And we also have two virtual services. Yes. So we have two person two in-person services. Um, it's twice a month, and the virtual yes. is twice a month. And we're gonna have all that information on our Facebook page and also yes. on our Instagram page and soon on our YouTube page. Yes. Um, there's a lot of things that's coming down the pipeline. There's a lot of there's a lot of ideas that we have. There's a lot of community outreach activities that we're gonna do. There's a lot of things that we're gonna center around families, as Terrell said. Absolutely. We're gonna have family day. Um, family day is every Friday. Every Friday, yes. you get to spend time with your family, and we mean spend time with spend your family. Spend time with your family. But once a month, we're going to come together and yes. do family day together. And that's when everybody's going to be on Zoom. We'll have um, different activities for the kids we do. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of building. The Lord told me today when I was reading, he said that we're going to strengthen those that remain remain so yes what we're going to do in this season we're strengthening what remains we're going to strengthen our family structures we're going to strengthen our young women we're going to strengthen our young men we're going to even strengthen our our elderly and our and our kids we're going to make sure that what we have is well equipped and well able to live in the society and the way the world is going today yes. so um we want you guys to join us and when i yes. when we put that information up we want you to Click in our lives, click in our videos, and make sure you, even this one, we forgot to tell you, like. Yes, comment, share. share. Please yes. Like it, love it, and share this. We yes. want everybody in the New York area and the surrounding areas to be a part. Absolutely. I'm telling you, what they, they I heard you say, people say, you it, you need to come down. You need to come yeah. down, come and yeah. see. Come and see. We said it on Sunday that we want you guys to give us a chance. Yes. Especially those who we are leading. Um, <laughs> So that you will see what God, we don't, we're not going to just say stuff. We want you to see. That's why we say, come and see. 
That's it's not right. Just what we're going to say out of our mouths. You're going to see it in our actions. Absolutely. We are very high on being integral. Yes. We are going to be very generous and we're going to be yes. very humble. And we want you to come and see. That's all we're asking for you to come and see. Don't judge us based upon previous experience or encounters that you may have had. Judge us based upon what we do from this day, from Sunday moving forward. That's and right. We want you That's to come. Because all, all we want to let you know is that you guys matter. You matter. You matter to us. You matter to God. You matter to the ministry. You matter. So come and see. Well, come and see. Make, people make making comments. Can you read the comment? Yeah, I see. Let's see. You can comment, Terrell, because I can't. I mean. Theo, uh, Theo said, don't say it. <laughs> well, no. no. <laughs> I just said, not right now. Right. Uh, Sister April Magwood said, that's my ministry. I think she's talking talk about singing. That's not her ministry. We give God <laughs> praise anyhow. Uh, Danae says, sing, Pastor. You see, the people want you to sing. They uh, want you to sing. Lady Pamela Rashford, she's on watching. Uh, who else? Who else? Got Oh, brother, your son is on. He's watching. You see that? My son? She's watching. Okay. Yeah, he's watching. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, listen, we are a, a family church. And I'm sorry, uh, I honor my wife. She's not here, but I honor my wife. And I got two kids, two boys. Um, I'm young as well. I'm 37. You know, but um, I, I love God. I'm 37. Wow. I'm I remember when you was not, you was just, you was in single digits. Right. I mean, I still can be. I still look young. Praise the Lord. You yeah. know, <laughs> but God is doing great things. God is doing oh, great right. things. Lady Pam, she said, congratulations. Thank you so much. You know, we're, listen, they, we're, we're, we're young. And the Bible speaks about that, how he called the young because they're strong. And yeah. this is what the Lord has 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 done for us. He's calling us because we're strong. He called the old because they know the way, because they're wise. And we thank God. Let me also say this. I'm grateful to the Lord that God chose us now at this present state while our senior leaders are still alive. Mm -hmm. I have friends. I have friends. I know people who are putting this position because their leader had gone on to be with the Lord. But I'm grateful to God that our our leader, our Bishop Desnit, laid hands on us for this particular moment. Yes, we're going to have uh, installation later on down the line. But she laid hands on us while she's not sick. Y'all hear me? She's not sick. She's no. well. Yeah. <laughs> she's well. She's 100% well. She's not sick. Yes, she's you know, much older and she's seasoned, but her ministry is not over, okay? She's not over. She is alive and she is well. She's doing great, okay, her and Pastor Malachi. But thank God for leaders who understand that they cannot, you know, continue all, you know, all, always, that there's time where you got to pass on, you know, to those, you know, who can carry on the legacy. And her legacy is not that she's a, she's gone from us. No, she's still here. She's still alive and well. And we give God praise for her life. They've been pastoring now for over 31 years. 31 years. And ministry has not stopped. It is still going on. You know, God is doing great things for them, in them, and through them. And we're just happy, you know, that we give God praise that they, they chose us to carry on the vision. And so they're still going to be around. They're still push, pushing us and praying us through. And we're going to do this again. And hopefully when we do this again, we'll have Bishop on line with us. They're going to have to pray us through because yes. we don't know anybody who would accept this assignment unless the Lord gave it to you. Absolutely. Unless the Lord called you. Absolutely. And, and the reason why I was willing and able to say, yes, I'm submitted. <laughs> I'm a submitted vessel. And yeah. it wasn't, you know, when you're submitted, you say yes to God before he even give you. Everything. That's where I'm at. I say yeah. yes before I get all of the uh, the instructions. I get right. all the details. I'm saying yes. Why? Yes. Because I trust God that much. Absolutely. But sure says I love God more. I love God yeah. more. Yeah. Than, than me being uh being comfortable i love god more than than anything and that's why that's what we are today yeah. and we are it's one thing i wanted to mention that we have um coming up, oh. what do we have coming up that we want everybody to be a part of our friends and family weekend yes we have a friends and family weekend coming up in july july 14th is, july 14th through the 16th through the 16th yep and we're going to post a flyer inside of this Pay inside of this um our church 
Facebook page. Yes. And we want you to come to be a part. We want you to come to this community outreach oh. event and come in and join us. Have some fun. We're gonna have music. Yes. We're gonna have food. We're gonna have activities for the kids. Bounce I house. Yeah. Us that we're going to bouncy house and yes. other stuff. We want to um, also put in um, place. But we want y'all to come and be a part. Yes. Be a part again. This is not going to be. This is not your typical. It's not gonna be a typical church. That's it's not right. gonna be what you're used to. Why? Because we, it's so much that we want to do. It's so, so, so much that we want to yes. do. But we know that this has changed because why we're transition, we're being we're transitional pastors. So yes. we're taking on the, the work of somebody else. So we things that are going to change. Like I said, there's things that are, there's things that are working and there's things that we're going to tweak. And change, and I want to let everybody know, change is not possible. Yes. And you cannot grow without change. So right. if you don't change stuff, you cannot grow. That's and right. Do not grow. That means that they're, they're, they're deficient or something mm -hmm. is wrong with them. If you don't. That's right. So we're going to grow healthy. We're going to grow a healthy church. We're going to have a healthy community. We're yes. just going to, um, as they say, we're going we're gonna to rock and roll. We, we That's rock it. Roll. We'll That's rock right. Listen, we are, we don't hop on the boat. Yeah, Jesus is the captain, and he's taking us to our destination. So we, and we, can, and we can't go back. <laughs> we can't go back. Once you say yes, there's no take back. I promise. Go back. And what you said, no take backs. There's no take backs. You can't mm. take this back. We, can't. we have been set up, all right, and God's going to take us through this journey. And I'm telling you, as Pastor Lakia said it before, you know, give us a chance. And I'm I pray. My prayer is that God be glorified. Do all that we do in the name of our church is glorified. I want God to be glorified in all that we do and how we serve and how and how we 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 uh, uh you know give up ourselves yes. you know to the ministry to the people you know that's what you know we want us to do and listen one thing I need y'all to do for us is stay connected mm -hmm. stay like connected no, no, like, like this page like, like this page, page. all right stay connected all our social media we got Instagram. Facebook, all right, YouTube is coming. We got uh, uh, the streaming, our lives are coming. Yes. Stay connected with us, all right? We got apparel that's getting ready to come as well. We get t-shirts and, and things of that nature. It's all about to hit the hit the scene, all right? So stay connected. My niece is not on. Miss. My niece is Your on. Nieces? My niece uh -oh. and Alexis and Aaliyah is on. Yes, they are. They, they're going to yes, be our um, virtual members. Yes, they are. Hello, y'all virtual members, if y'all didn't know, okay? Sister April said, congratulations. Thank you, Sister April. That's my sister in love. Oh, I see my bro in here, Tavares Richardson. Okay. Um, Sister April, you said it's your sister in love? Yes. Okay, April, you got to come visit us on Sunday. Yes. Well, she got to come. I mean, she you know, she goes to a great church out on Long Island. My good friends over there in Zion Cathedral. But she, she can come one Sunday. Yeah. Come on one Sunday. Yes. Oh, we oh, got the, um, the head usher. The head usher is on here. Sister Keisha? Yeah, the head usher. It's about time she joined. She's probably traveling from work, so that's why she couldn't get on, you know. We got some of the best members in our church, okay? Some of the best members, all right? We love on our people, and we thank God for them. Yes. Our media team, everybody. Think great things are coming. I'm telling y'all, watch what God's going to do within a short time. Watch what God's going to do in a short time. It's going to be a blessing. It's going to be a blessing. Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait. He said she Great sure things. will. Yes. So they but we got us, we got a seat for you. Yeah. We got a seat for you. All right. Come on. We got a seat for you. Listen, we invite all of you. Our next right to the Keisha. No service on the train. I believe you. I believe you. No service on the train. Our next um Pastor Pastor Lake, your godson is on I the line. See. He's our cameraman. He was he was nervous, but his god mommy got him. Yes. He said, hi, Pastor Godmother. Hi, Pastor Cousin. I love it. I love it. All right. But listen, June 25th is our next in-person service. Come on. Stop by. Yes. Come and see. Come, Come and see. see. You do not want to miss this service. We'll be there. You don't want we'll to miss be it. There. I'm doing praise and worship. You don't want to yeah. miss it. You don't want to miss it. Okay. God is doing new thing. The Bible says, behold, I do a new thing. So you not know it? Because I sure didn't. God's going to do something great. Something great. Okay? So come on. Yesterday, April. I love it. I love it. Come and see. 
children's ministry. It's going. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. Children's ministry, youth department. God, we're going to have our Sunday school. And you listen. Starting in July, we're shooting, kicking off a new Bible experience. Yeah. So you do not want to miss it. Yeah, it's so going to be true. something great. Come, yeah. thank you, Sister Courtney. Come and see. And then, okay, now, now listen. Now here's something, something a little new, even for me. So for me, you you know how we heard for years how the Bible say, "Come as you are." Now, Pastor Lakia, correct me if I'm wrong. It I've never read that in the Bible. It don't say that. It don't say never that. said that. Never said that. However, however, we want you to feel as comfortable as possible. You don't have to wear the big hats, even though I love them. You ain't got to get the whole glitter suits. I love those too. Come with you. Come with you at. Come yeah. as you are. You know why? Because God looks at your heart, not your outward appearance. Mm -hmm. And it, as much as I love to get dressed, anybody that knows me, I don't care what I have on, I'm going to give God my all. You would never see me in a three-piece suit and leave out there dry. I'm always going to leave out there soaked in the presence of God. Because what matters the most is what you give to God. It's not what you wear. Yeah. That's what matters the most. It's about your heart. It's about your presentation. It's about what you give to him. It's not so much in the clothes. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying nothing wrong with you dressing up because I love to get dressed. Don't yes. get me wrong. Please don't get yes, me wrong. Yes. I love to get dressed. My wife, we dress, okay? But our clothes does not make our praise. Yeah. Doesn't make our worship. We're dressing down, people. I've, We're I've, dressing down. I've gotten but accustomed to dressing they're down. They're dressing down. So, um... It's going to be a dual thing for me. So coming yes. back, it's the dressing up. It's got to get back to that. But just in the summertime, summer months, we're going to dress down. And Jordan and Jesus. And jeans and Jesus. And guess what? The ladies love it. The they, ladies, Terrell's the lady. wife, yeah. loves it because they're going to be. <laughs> Y'all pray for First Lady. Pray for Lady Ray, okay? She needs the Holy Ghost. But pray for her. Pray for her. All right. Uh, who, who's this? Uh, Jordan. Ten, well, that's Tindale? my Jordan from um my from uh here. That's my Jordan. Oh, thank you so much, she's Jordan. Gonna visit, she's gonna come visit us um when I drive down here. All right, come on, right. Jordan. We got a seat for you too. Yes, is the Keisha Ushers too. Ushers too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just said Jordan's in Jesus. Uh I Elder Brown said, let me pull off my J's. You know, you know so so, so crazy. I got a pair of J's too. Praise the Lord. I'm probably wearing mine's one Sunday. One's for the one. I love that, Theo. I love that. Sister Courtney says, sure do. She love to dress down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah, we have, Um, it was something else that I wanted to say that I should have wrote down, but I forgot. But it'll come back. We're going to be gotta come back to you. Yes. We're going we're gonna to do this a lot because we want you to get to know us and we want to always um stay connected and we want to always be, um, we always want to be, so not just uh, transparent and um, vulnerable, but we want to be, I want to say we want to be, what, do I want, what word I want to use? We want to be personable. We want y'all to Absolutely. see and veer into our lives and yeah. we want you to go on. This is, this, is gonna, this is new to me for me and Terrell. And we want y'all to take this first year of us being pastors, take the journey with us. Yes. Take the journey with us as first time pastors on this yes. first year of being pastors. Yes. You know, a lot of these, we might come on and invite people to come on and um, give advice who are, who have been pastors or newly pastors or pastors who, who've been doing this for some time now. Yeah. And we want, you know, godly, good advice. You know, we want, you know, godly, good advice. Absolutely, so godly, good godly, good advice. Good advice. So people that can um, impart and give wisdom and give some knowledge on their um, journey through um, building a church, building a ministry, sustaining them in ministry, and all that stuff that we're doing with mastering. So yes. We're going to do that too. Anybody has, have any questions? I can't see your questions if you did have them, but maybe somebody could tell us. Does anyone have any questions for us about anything um, that we talked about or? knowing wanting to know what's next as far as for the ministry we did say um what we have coming up for july our next in-person service um a bible study is going to be on streamed on youtube and that's going to be on tuesdays yes right from mm -hmm. seven, seven to eight to eight mm -hmm. 
seven, seven to eight. So one hour Bible study on Tuesdays. Yes. Um, and then we have a prayer line is going to be on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Wednesdays from seven thirty. No, from eight to eight thirty. Right. And the first and third Wednesday, seven forty-five to eight. Bishop mm -hmm. Desmond does her does her bishop her dress. Yes. yes. And that's going to be the prayer line is over the phone. Yes. And we're going to post that information here as well. Please join in. And what I want to what I want to say also, Glorify was built on prayer. Yes, I it mean, was. The men in the church they could pray. The women yes. could pray. It was built on prayer from over yes, it was. The, Elizabeth Ray, which was Cheryl's grandmother, it was built on prayer and deliverance. That yes. prayer and deliverance. That's Absolutely. what it was built on. Um, and that's Absolutely. what we're, we're getting back to, to be we, in prayer and heavy in deliverance. That's right. Never left. That ministry is still there. Cat, still cat, there. And that's, our, that's right. That's and our preaching and our singing, deliverance is still much relevant, much alive. Pastor Lakia, so now most of you probably don't know, but our pastor has a book out. Pastor Ray wrote a book. I'm talking about you, Pastor. Oh. Like uh, okay. She's getting ready to though. She's getting ready to. But I'm, the, I'm people, that. the people, the people want to know that they're asking the name of your book. Prayer one on one. Prayer one on one. Prayer one point oh. Oh. What? Yeah. It's the introduction. Where, where, where's the book? It's on Amazon. You don't have a book with you right now. You can't show the people. I actually do, but it's. Back then, I have to get up out my seat hey, and go Lord that way. Mercy. But she I am pressed. Not. You know, some people have on. Um, right. I'm sorry. Right, 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 Trev. God, touch your mind. I don't, I don't <laughs> know what's happening. Like, what? Yes, Pastor Lakia is an author. Prayer, what was it? 1.0, 1, 1. you said? 1.0 is the introduction into prayer. Yes. It has yes. activation in it. Um, it's questions. It's more questions, activation, it's prayers in it. Um, yes. And it's, it's a short read, it's not a long read. And um, it's on Amazon. All right. I believe it's fifteen dollars. Okay. Fifteen dollars on. That's Amazon. not bad. Listen, yeah. somebody, somebody else also has got his soul into the ministry. So listen, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see we have our Zell on there. All right. G D O M Church at Gmail dot com. Up oh, there we go. All right, the book is right there. All right. If you want to purchase the book, you go on Amazon and get the book. Only fifteen dollars. All right. It will be a blessing to your life. I'm telling you. And a blessing to your ministry and to your life. But we have people here asking how can they sow into the ministry? And so you can sow uh, by way of Zelle or Cash App. All right. It's on the bottom of the screen. You can sow into the ministry. All right. By way of Zelle or Cash App. Uh, we thank God for all of you. We have so many viewers on here. Thank you, Sister Anna. She said, that's beautiful. First time pastors. Thank you so much. Please keep us in prayer. <laughs> Sister Vakina asks, how can we sow? They're on the way of the screen, right there by Zell or Cash App. You can sew that way. Just as the corner. Yes, yeah, she's a whole author. A whole author. All right. We're not just talking just to be talking, but God has birthing, birthing mm -hmm. out gifts in us. And this is all coming from prayer, coming oh. through prayer. All right. We pray, we worship, we take time out. Pastor Like here something very powerful last Sunday to take three hours out of your day just to spend for ministry. Yeah. Whatever you can spread it out. It don't have to be back to back. It well, can three be hours you can a space week. it out. Three hours a week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we have 168 hours in a, a week. You have a hundred. Yes. Think about this, people. You have 168 hours in a week. Okay. And as a ministry, we're only asking you to give us three hours. Yes. A week. Can you imagine that? Like you still mm -hmm. have 165 hours still left. And it's a it's a whole thing that. You have time to for yourself, work, a side job. All you can get all of that done within that time, especially yeah. if you prioritize your the things you have to do in good time management. You we we can we can do so much for the kingdom if we just delegate time and be committed to that time. And that's committed. what we're looking for. We're looking for a commitment because we're committing. We're committing ourselves. Yeah. I live in Illinois. I'll be traveling to New York, dual residence, coming from both. But I'm committing myself to when I come there, every day that I'm there, I am available. I'm available by phone. If you need something, we are here because we're here to serve. We're yes. here to serve you. We're here to serve our community. We are here to serve the purpose, the plan, the agenda of God, his kingdom. Absolutely. That's what we're looking to do. Absolutely. And we're going to make a difference because we're servants. 
Jesus yes. was a servant. He didn't come yeah. to be served. He came to serve. To serve. We have pastors coming and ready to serve. Pastors who still will lead prayer, pastors yes. who will still lead praise and worship. Hello, right. I'm, I see. I'm lead prayer. I'm, okay, what's the 25th? I'm yeah. lead prayer. You see that? Because we're gonna have I'm church, yeah. We're gonna, I mean, we're gonna have kingdom, it's gonna be there. Yeah. I see so the April saying congrats on the book, Pastor Lakia. So the Darlene Brooks is watching all the way from Maryland. I Elder Brown said, and they both can preach. So, God be the glory, Elder Brown. Uh, so the Asia, uh, you guys, Aisha, she's excited. Um, Theo said, break it down. Yes. Now, I just had a question. She said, what does the family and friends weekend consist of? Okay. So, um, that Saturday we're having a barbecue. We're going to yes. have everything posted on our page as far as the location, the address, so that you'll know where the address is going to have the times in there, but it's going to be a barbecue on that Saturday that I believe that Friday we're going to, with Bishop Designate, she has to preach at a church in, yes. Queens. There, in Queens. In Queens. So what's yeah. going on that day, that Saturday is geared to the community, is geared to letting the, the neighborhood know, hey, we're here and we're yep. here to serve. So we're, yep. yes, we're going to have the hot dog, the barbecue, the bouncy house for the children. That's on Saturday, um, a few hours out the day on Saturday. Um, we're also going to walk the neighborhood, you know, walk, walk around the neighborhood. Absolutely. Um, we might have signs that say, do you need prayer? I'm ready to yeah. do signs in the, you know, gas stations at the corner stores. Okay. This is New York. They That's got right. In every corner. Yes. You, <laughs> you need prayer and we can just pray, lay hands on people outside. Right there. That's Absolutely. We're so we'll do that Saturday. And then on Sunday, we have our service on the 25th. And we have a dynamic speaker who's going to be in the house. Mm. He comes mm. all the way from Hempstead, New York. By way of the Southern State Parkway. Southern State Parkway. <laughs> and he's out. Pastor Terrell will be bringing forth the word on that day, the 25th. Oh, and we are coming. I mean, I'm, when you when I say come, come prepared to 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 uh not just receive because we're not come prepared to honor and to worship God. Yes. Come with a spirit of expectation. Absolutely. Come expecting. God to answer, come expecting to receive, come expecting to, to receive the whatever you need that you have, you are in need of, come with the spirit of expectation. And I guarantee, I can, I guarantee, guarantee. if you yield to God and you're submitted and surrendered to God, God is going to meet you. He's going to meet you and he's going to meet you right at that point of your need. I'm telling you, it's going to yes. be, and we're going to start off with prayer, worship. You know, I'm not going to worship no, no, leave for praise the worship that day because I'm not ready. I had to get my voice together, but I am going to get some Ricola. That's right. Now yes. I need more than Ricola. There's some special stuff they have that throat. I need that throat tea. They, they have that. Yeah, yes. I have that. I have that in my cabinet. That's what I, I use that in ginger Lord. tea. So, right. Pastor Lakia, they, they also said that, um, that so during Family and Friends Weekend, that Sunday is actually, actually National Ice Cream Day. Wow. So we're going to get some ice cream for the people. On a Sunday? On no, a Sunday. Yeah, Why not? It's swollen. Why not? I'm not trying to gain 20 pounds coming to, for service. Well, listen, we're going to yeah, work out. We can have ice cream, National Ice the, Cream Day. The, the, the we'll praise is going to be in the cream. building. We'll get some ice cream. Everyone after service has some ice cream. You know, okay. this is what we're doing. We, we're, we're a family church that's yeah. reaching out to the people. So yes. the door will be open. We'll be outside with a sign. Come and see. Yeah. All right. We might want you to come on in. Not, not because we're going to be preaching, because the power of God is going to hit you before you get inside. And so we are experiencing the Lord. First Lady Charlene Ateria Stewart is on the line. Okay. You know, you know Ateria Stewart. Yes, that's from... Um... Greater Mount Carmel. Yeah, far out. Yeah, but, but now they're pastors of their own church. Yes. Walk of Faith. I've yes. never been there. I've, I've Walk moved of Faith. Faith. Okay, well, yes. praise God. Sister April said, I use the same tea. I bet she does. She want to sing so bad. We got to pray for her in Jesus' name. But yes, guys, we got things coming up. So please join us in any of our services, the 25th of this month of June. Then we're again July the uh, 16th. And then we're getting uh, uh, in person July 30th, but we will be virtual as well. So you'll see us again. You'll hear our voices again, because no matter what, we have a word from the Lord that he has put into our heart to share with the people. And all we want to do is be service and be a blessing to the community and mm -hmm. to the world. 
glorified yeah. is on his way up. What did they say? We're on our way up. We go up, up, up. Boom, boom, boom. Up, up, up. Okay. okay. We're going it. up. Do it. It's only it. up from here. Only up from here. So you guys have any more questions? 100%. I Any more questions? Okay. In yes. person service is 20. Okay. Look at, we got admin in the um comments putting you all the uh in person services. It's in the um comments. We're yeah. also going to put some flyers on this um these pages. Absolutely. So Sister you- Anna, Anna Rivas, God bless you. The Lord be with you and God bless you and your family. Yeah. Thank you. Sister Anna. Sister Anna, where are you from? You from New York? Are you from another, another state? Where are you from, state. Sister Anna? From yeah. State. Mm-hmm. Well, excellent, excellent. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Yes, I'm telling you, I'm gotta, a father. You know, we not we 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 don't normally do this, but I have a word for you, Sister Anna. Yes. Okay. Um, I know that um, it's you just gave a, the Lord a request. Um, today is the what's today? Today is the 13th, 13th of 18th. June. Seven yes. days ago, you went before God and you asked the Lord. You said, uh, I believe it's something with your, your your children and you made a petition before God and you said, God, if you do this, I'm going to give you this. And mm-hmm. if you answer this, I'm going I'm to do this. The Lord just, I just heard the Lord very clearly say, what you asked of him, give him seven weeks, seven yeah. weeks of seeking God and not just your typical seeking God because you're, you're a woman whose heart has been postured before God. But I hear Absolutely. God said he's going to use your story as a Hannah story. He has mm. released the anointing of Hannah upon you and yes. you're at a point where you're a bitterness in soul and your mouth is moving and, and, and the enemy has been like a panina before you and he's been mm. aggressive. The, the enemy has been after you. He's been after your after your seed. Yes, Why? Lord. Your seed is bringing forth a mighty deliverance. I yes. hear that your children and your grandchildren are going to have the anointing of Samuel because the mm. Lord has something to say in this generation is going to come by way of your children. And he mm. said, if you give him seven weeks of the kind of prayer, the kind of travail and the kind of seeking that Hannah did, God is going to open up all that you request. Why? Yes. Because he knows that he can trust you. I hear God so clearly say he can mm. trust you. And guess what? He is pleased with your life. He is pleased with your worship and your yes. sacrifice because you have been committed and you have been I committed know. when all everything else told you to walk away. You've yielded to God and because you yielded. yielded to God, he is fighting on your behalf. And I I tell you, it is a guarantee after those seven weeks, there's going to be major breakthrough major breakthrough. It is going to be like it's all new. I hear God say he's making it new on your behalf because he can trust you. My God, thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. He can Amen. trust you. And we are, we are here to serve. I'm, I'm just, we are here to serve. That's and I'm all. excited about what God is doing. And I've seen guys, I've seen Pastor Terrell. I've watched him. I've I, I, I don't even know how many years ago, but he was in single digits, single digits, <laughs> leading praise and worship, yeah. devotional service back then. My yeah. nephew there, I was on here, was on the drums. Theo, yeah. the, Theo got on the drums. And every I've seen them grow up. I've seen them mature. I see, I've, I've, I've seen them navigate going into manhood, going into fatherhood, going into being husbands. And I am so pleased at the lives that they live and the maturity that God, that they, that they walk in now and to see the hand of God be upon their lives and that they are in the house of God and they are serving God and they're committed to the work of the ministry. Glorified is going to be known as a house with strong men. We're going to have a strong male presence, a strong male presence. I want our ministry to be dominated by men. Yeah. An overflow of men. Yes. And that's my prayer because it is something, it's something when a man prays, and it's, it's always something when a woman, but it's something that happens. Heaven responds when he when the when heaven hear the sounds of men praying, oh, they yes. was, heaven responds to the voice and the cry of a man. And I'm mm. I'm excited about what's to come. I'm excited about who God has entrusted us with, who yes. who are a part. We have some faithful women, we have some faithful people. Yes. We have faithful people, and I am honored. I want to say I'm honored to be your pastor. I am honored to serve. I am so honored yes. to serve, and I am I am going to serve past my capacity. 
I'm That's serving right. based upon the capacity of God. Yeah. And I'm, I'm leaning, I'm dependent, and I'm trusting in him because Absolutely. he's going to order order our steps. And I'm just honored. Pastor Lakia, Pastor Sister Anna wrote, she said, yes, my 25-year-old grandson, Sonny, was hit by a vehicle in, on February 25th and has passed away, but my faith did not waver. My God. Well, we believe God for you, Sister Anna. Amen. That God will be a comforter, that he'll be a protector and a shield. Amen. That he'll be with you even in a tough time. Amen. God is faithful. God is faithful. He is just to cover those, to cover his children. And so you are covered by the blood and we agree and pray with you. Yes. Amen. For that prophetic word that was released to you, that you shall see the handiwork of God upon your life. Seven weeks. Don't forget yes. that word. Seven weeks. Watch what God do within that time frame. Pastor Stefan is on. He said, congratulations. God bless you, sir. Brother, Brother Will is on. We see him. Yeah. Sister Ruby just came on. Lady Ray is on. Amen. We think, oh, uh, Brother Kevin. Brother Kevin can pray. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. So you never know what's going to happen in our church and our services. God may turn into a prayer service. He may yeah. turn into a prophetic yeah. impartation service. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. It's <laughs> I'm like, trying to tell it's you. Not what it's, it's not what you're used to. It's, it's not, not your coming. usual church. No, it's, it's going to come on one day. We're going to just worship mm -hmm. all day. It's, it's going to be an experience with the Lord. Yeah. An encounter. It's not church as usual. I know we heard that for years, but it's not going to be. Because God wants more of us. He just yeah. He doesn't want the same program every time we come together. He wants something fresh. Something fresh. So you never know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen in his presence. It may be a prophetic impartation service. It, 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 it may be a, a prayer uh, a service. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Just worship the entire. You never know. God yeah. is going to move in such a way yeah. that our lives will be changed for the better. Yes. That's all we want. We don't want, we don't want to come in one and way and leave the same. We want to be delivered. We want to be so free. You come we in and you just come in. The Lord say, you know what? Get on your knees. And we just there's, on it. There's, there's no agenda. Yeah, just get on your knees. Just, that's it. There's no agenda. God wants to break down some walls, yes. some shackles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how can I tell that God do? He had to do it within us first. Yeah. Oh, I, we, we've been through challenges. Pastor Lakia, she said it. We've you know, been through a lot of things as years went on, but even with Pastor Lakia, I remember when she first came to the church <laughs> and, and Bishop Desnit prophesied to her the first time i was i was something else i was oh I was, my god I was a hard cookie oh uh, my hard god necklace. yes yeah. he was yes i, was one of those so, I even go a little deeper pastor lakia back in the day our church in on uh, on um in on uh, uh uh richmond hills lived in the on top of the on top of the church and when we had an apartment up there oh, yeah. some years ago she was never late to church never late to church never late Okay, and if she was, I don't know why, because she was right in the, in the building. Yeah, praise the Lord, serious. you know. But yeah. God has has done great things in our midst. Often yes. we are glad about it. He's he's broken us. Back then they say, you know, cut cut them, Lord, cut them. Oh, yeah. he cut us. He yeah. cut us. You know, I, I never forget we went to the Royal Conference with Bishop Rita Wilson. We've been to the Prayer Conference with Pastor Kimberly Ray. Yeah. We we've been we've yeah. been in some services. And I'm never forget it. And God rest her soul. But I also want to give honor to uh, uh, Aquila Prophetess uh, Tachina Graham. Oh, yeah. yeah. Prophetess Tachina Graham, woman of God, came, didn't, didn't know her, <laughs> know nothing about her. And we had a youth conference some years ago. And um, she, she sent word all the way from uh, Chicago to yeah. New York. With that called, out, called our names out. I said, who was this lady? Oh, white and stuff. oh my god i mean called our names out before yeah. the lord and the woman of god had a word and let mm -hmm. me let me say this say this to y'all who are watching because it, it's always been prophesied to me you're gonna pass them pass the pass the pass the pass the pass and i'm like all right i believe that and i kept saying well god what is going to happen and I, I've never wavered my faith. I've never wavered, you know, uh, uh, well, it, 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 it ain't come yet. So I guess it ain't never gonna happen. No, I stood my ground. I stayed in my place. And look where God has placed us now. And we, we've been in, in many places where God has definitely broke us down and had, had to, had to um, produce some things in us. And I'm grateful to the Lord that he chose us even for this particular opportunity to serve the people, not so much to lead, 
but to serve the people. I got some co-workers on here. Sister Ida, oh my God. <laughs> I worked with her many years ago. God bless you, Sister Ida. It's so good to see you. Oh my God, Sister Petzl, God bless you. That's right, Richmond Hill, Queens. That's our stomping grounds where we came up. Triff, listen, your sister uh, were powerful, a powerful, and I would never forget her. Even when I came down to, um, was it Illinois? Yeah, the, the, uh, like yeah, the worship. The yes, yeah. we drove what, 35 hours? <laughs> And you ate them daggone punk oh, and sunflower seeds. Though. The oh, sunflower man. Sunflower seeds all Jante the way. Jantay was with us. Jantay was yes, with us. Yes. yes. And we went down for, for our, I think it was a worship experience yeah. with, uh, uh, with Trent, 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 yeah. with a trivia. And um, the, I'm going for the service. The woman of God <laughs> came, prophesied to me, had me run around the church. I'm like, why don't I just sit there and just not be, be bothered? But the Lord had a calling on yeah. my life. Yeah. And he used her. I had so many impartations in my in my life yeah. that I would never ever forget. Mm -hmm. And so I thank God for what the Lord has done. Yesterday at 6 a.m. prayers, those oh, who serve. Wait, 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 I have to tell the story. I took that's when it was 6 a.m. was prayers at um Bethel. Well, I need yes. to doing prayers. Yes. And I used to go to them prayers before I went to work and sacrifice and go. I brought I took Danae one time. Danae was a school crossing guard that yeah. time. <laughs> And she gonna notice. I took the day. And I mean, when prayer was, it was powerful. Yes. The nail was on her knees. Don't know how she got there, Terrell. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know how I got here. I'm right. I, I was just on my knees. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got on my knees. Yes. But I'm here. She was on her knees and didn't know how she got there. Listen, when we are not, and I gotta say this, we're not novice. We've been in this thing a long time, a long time, and we have, we've had. Uh, see now, our church. Friday night we had a Tarian service. Oh yeah! All right, we 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 had it mm -hmm. at the altar. I know me and one of my friends, brother Eric, we were at the altar together, calling on Jesus. And I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I had to be at least 12, 13 years old. So I got filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, and so we've been we we've, we've been here. We've been doing this. God has has definitely imparted so much in our leaders. And I I got to keep going back to it because Bishop Desnit. The woman of God still to this day is in touch with God. Yeah, Her ministry is, is not, it's not wavering. It's not, it's not down. The woman of God has power with God. Yeah. And I'm so glad that he has imparted, you know, in us the things that we need. Um, oh, Bishop is on. God yeah. bless you, Bishop Desnit. You know, God bless you. She's on. She's on Facebook. And, you know, and let me, let me talk about her too. You know, with those pastors back in the day, they they were they were against Facebook for a long time. Yeah. That Facebook was of the devil, but Facebook is is using you no, know the no, means. It takes the word of God across. Absolutely the nation. across right the nation. Right from your home, you could touch yes. Africa. You could touch Singapore. Absolutely, you could touch Australia all at the same time. Right Absolutely, yes. Well, we thank God. We thank yeah. God. Yeah. How, how, long, how long we been on here? I think we're on a long time. Yeah, we, eight minutes. We said one hour and we done. Right. Uh, we want to honor our our bishop for being on the line, even Woo though she's she's on Thank here. We we honor her life, and we it's amazing because we're the fruit of her labor. Yes. She's seeing the fruit of what she sold all of those years. Oh yes. In and in us, and she um is my mother. She's um she she became my mother by way of marriage, but nonetheless she is my mother, and I've learned so much from her. I learned how the the letter killeth, but the spirit maketh the lie. I learned how to um be a a, a, a mother, a time a wife. So much that she poured into me, but spiritually she mothered me and she um trained me. She imparted in me. She encouraged me. She rebuked me. I got rebuked, you know. Oh, lot. me too. I was, you know, I did some stuff, you know, and I was, but you know, I learned. It sharpened me and made me better. Um, it equipped me and um, it made me who I am today. She poured. She poured into us. Yes, she did. Us and and you see it. She seeing what she poured. Yes. In, you know. Yes. We get to see it, and we get to I, um, 
make her proud. So and we were always taught if you can take it, you can make it. Yeah. Oh, but you you had more taken than I had. Oh yeah. You had yeah. way more than I did. I, I was the king of rebuke. Okay. Like it's just yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Absolutely. I was always in trouble. Okay. I keep telling y'all, I was, I was I was one of those. You know, in the past, like, oh no, I, I was the same. I ain't never got rebuked. No, you're lying. Okay. Stop it. All right. I was one of those. Okay, I was the king of rebuke. Okay, I got rebuked all the time, you know. But I thank God for it. I thank God for the correction because it made me who I am today. Yeah. All right. Yes, she will, uh, 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 Jr. She will rebuke you. Okay. See, we we come coming in, in in them grounds with the old church where you know they they rebuke you and then they'll love you right after. Yeah. They they don't leave you open. They rebuke and sold you back up with love. And so we, we are who we are to this day because we have great leadership. Yes, we had a lot of influence in our lives and um she influenced my life greatly she was at a, a pivotal Trust part me. of my life my journey because i just yeah. i didn't grow up in church my family i didn't come from a you know i didn't come from a lineage of preachers and stuff i am a first generation preacher in my family let me say that again i am a first generation preacher i am first in my mm -hmm. family as far as to preach the gospel to even actually go to church church my family you know yeah. they have to church and all that but yeah. to, to claim the name of Jesus, I am first. And I came through, um, I had a lot, not a lot, not a lot of teachers. When, you know, I had many teachers. I had my godfather teach me, Ursula Williams, then Pastor Ray, who's always been in my life, teach me. And then I, you know, other ministries that I've been a part of. And um, currently uh, my apostle Doja, who also poured into me, my spiritual dad. And I owe all of that. They all played a part in my life. Yes. And it's a, I'm so honored and blessed because it. I'm back where it basically we started. started. Yes, <laughs> right. You know, we started. started. That's well, right. I never left because yeah. that's yeah. Always so, a part, and that's yeah. the thing. You know, mo most of you may not know Pastor Lakia, even though she moved from New York to Illinois, she's never left. She's always been a part yeah. of the ministry. Oh, always been a part of things that we had going on. I know some of you may not have never seen her face before, but that's fine. You're seeing it now, you know, for the first time. She's always been a part, and we're happy to have her. We're happy to have her with us. She's a part of our family. She is family, and we're just excited, you know, for what the Lord is getting ready to do in our ministry. So we thank you all yeah. for taking the time out to join us for what's next. Ooh, all right, ooh, Glorified ooh. is on the move. All say right. it again. Say are, it loud. We're all, glorified is on the move. <laughs> and we're going up, 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 okay, from here. And yes. we, are, we love y'all, too. We're excited. And once excited, again, we said it before, stated before, just give us a chance. That's it. Give us a chance. And I, Pastor Akia has a saying that we're going to say, say for, the, for the rest of our lives, judge us by our fruit. Yeah. That's it. Okay? Judge us by our fruit. Hello. All right? That's what we want. Hello. That's, okay. all we, that's all we asking for. That's it. Give us Nothing more than that. Give, Give us a chance. A chance. Get, get to know us. Don't yes, judge us by what somebody else says. I, I don't, I don't, I dislike that. When you yes. make an assumption about somebody, you never met them. Yes. You don't like somebody because somebody else don't like somebody. Don't do that. Right. Now, do that. Give us have a your chance. own experience. That's yeah. right. Say it again. Have your own experience. One more time. Have your own. I think I'm going to preach that Sunday. Do it that's major. good. Is it minor. What's the churchy one? Minor. A minor? Hey, you know, go churchy on them. Come on. Ha have your own experience. Okay? Yeah. Have your own. Okay? Right. You, you have your own. Okay? Don't let anybody judge you. No, get, get your own experience. Yes. Okay? So please, give us a chance. We yes. love you guys. Mom, Elder Marcel is on the line. I okay, love he's him. He's a whole police officer. A whole police officer. I thought that was a... Oh, I got to talk to him later. I thought that was like a... Uh, uh, no, like he is. I said, you I got it done. That's, Mar Marcel is my is my son. I love him. Okay, he, he's a praying police officer. Look, he went from being a, a a principal to to a police officer. He's a praying police officer. That's you what see I'm that saying. a praying police officer. I love. He him. gonna be back. He gonna be back to visit. Back to visit. Oh, we thank God for all you. Thank you again. Nothing can stop us. We're on our way up. That's right, Keisha. We're on our way up. Say on it. our way up. Up, up, right. up, 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 up. We uh, love you guys. Yes. And Pastor Lakia, listen, no, it's only fitting that before we go off, you got to pray for the people. Okay. got to pray for the people. Okay. Father, we bless you. We honor you yes, for Lord. everyone who tuned in tonight. 
We thank yes. you for the new thing that you're doing. We thank, thank you for you, what you're doing, not just in our ministry, in our, yes, in our lives, but what you're doing in your thank church, you, what yes, you're Lord. doing in our nation. We thank you that you're, the thank hand you, of Jesus. God is upon us. And we thank yes, you that Lord. we are led by you, we are controlled by you, and we are governed yes, by you. We thank you that even in this season where the earth Hallelujah. is groaning for the expectation of the sons of God, we yes, are your Lord. sons and we are here, Father. We are thank here you, to Jesus. be used. We are yes. here to be imparted. We're here to be deployed. We're here yes, to Lord. advance your kingdom and the earth. We in thank you that Jesus. as a church, we are leaning not upon our own understanding, yes, but in all of our ways, we acknowledge you and you're going to direct us. We thank you that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding is yes, going Lord. to guard everyone's heart on this line. Yes, we thank you Lord, that you're going to meet everyone at the point of in their the need. Of we thank you that you're the God that makes one rich and adds no sorrow. No sorrow. That your blessings are going to chase them down, yes, run God. them over, and overtake them. In we the thank you that this Jesus. is a year of divine increase. Yes, we thank Lord. you that this is a year of divine protection. We thank Glory you that God. they are going to dwell in the secret place of the Most yes, High God. God, and they are abiding under the shadows yes, of the Almighty. Yes, we thank you that what you're doing in glorified, it is Under going to penetrate. We are yes, impenetrable, God, in this season. Yes, we thank Lord. you that you are our angel. You're the yes, angel God. of the, you are the army of the angels of God and we yes, thank you Lord. that you're watching you're covered thank you, in the Lord. Thank you Lord. For Bishop we thank you for her life yes, we thank yes, you God. for strength we thank you thank for you, newness Jesus. we thank you for protection yes, we thank Aya. you that your hand is upon her God. God we thank you that you're going to keep our feet stable name, we thank you that yes, you're yes, going to give us ideas wisdom yes, and knowledge and understanding as Solomon yes, prayed you're going to give us the Lord wisdom to lead your people yes, Father Lord. thank you give us the wisdom thank to serve your people in the name of Jesus Lord Jesus, every member of glorified yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, give Lord. us give us keeping power, God. Yes, Sustain God. us, God, in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Father, we thank you that it is sealed. And the power is sealed by the yes, blood of Lord. Jesus. We thank, thank you Jesus. that every promise that you've given to us is yes and amen. Yes, and we stand firm on it thank in you, your Jesus. word where you said one can chase a thousand, but yes, two can put ten thousand a flight. We thank yes, you Lord. that we are together and yes, one, one accord and unity, Father. You, and we are them. We are them that we are, are them. this world upside down. Yes, Father, God. we thank you for your presence, your glory, and thank we you, thank Jesus. you and we give you honor, yes, everything. Lord. Everything, everything, everything is for your glory. Hallelujah. Everything, for you. everything yes, we Lord. do as a ministry is for ah, your yeah. glory. glory. We remove God. ourselves out of the way, Father, Thank and you, it's for your glory. Yes, we Lord. Want Honor, hallelujah. Honored in everything yes, that we Lord. do. Be honored. You, be honored in our lives. Oh, yeah. In the name Glory of to God. Jesus, be yes, honored, Lord. God. Be honored, we Lord. are yielded and we are surrendered to you as yes, a ministry. Oh, our yeah. ministry yes, is yours. Hallelujah. We will not do nothing unless you give Thank us you, the Jesus. okay. We yes, are submitted, Lord. glorified to yes, you. God. This is your church. Thank this you, is Jesus. Your church, and these are your yes, people, God. Father. Yes, Lord. In the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, for everything we do, we are going to acknowledge yes, you. Every move we make, we're going to acknowledge yes, you. And you promise, God, to yes, direct God. our paths. Yes, Thank Lord. You, you are directing us as a We Thank are directed you, by you, God. We are directed by you. We are directed uh, by you, Jesus. You, we are directed Hallelujah. by you. Hallelujah. We are directed Hallelujah. by you. Praise yes, God. In Jesus' name, mm. amen. Amen. We love you all. Thank you so much. Yes. We pray that God be with you all until the next appointed time. Remember, come and see a place where you matter. Because glorified, yeah. we're going up, 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 up. up. <laughs> we're going up. We love y'all. Is, is she there? She's here. Lady, come say hi Let's to the people. Face in the camera. Come say hi to the people. Lord. She probably mad, right? That's Terrell's wife. I was doing, um, uh, baseball. Uh, Tristan had a baseball game tonight. That's Terrell's wife, guys. Hey, everybody. Yes, yes and my son made the All Star team. Woo! Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. So we're happy about that. Yes, we love you guys. Don't yes. forget, we'll have uh, we'll post all the flyers. Yes. Our upcoming events will be on our Facebook page on Instagram. Don't forget, like join it. us. Like, like it. comment. Like it. So when I get up there, I should see more likes. Come on, yes. Tristan, say hi. That's Terrell's yeah. son. Y'all met the y'all met um Tucker in the Tucker, beginning. Tucker, yeah. <laughs> so yes, please like, share, follow yes. us on all of our social media pages: GDON yes. Church, Instagram, Facebook, 
follow us all right yeah. you will see a logo is coming soon things are happening it's happening yeah. so follow yeah. us yes we love y'all right. god bless good night good night